Hey everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. Today I'm doing a video I have not tried before on my channel, but have wanted to do for quite some time now, and that is turning old, plasticky, boring doll stuff and making it look more realistic. So let's just get right on into it. I have this Barbie guitar here. Here is Nicole actually with the guitar and as you can see, it just looks very unrealistic and plasticky. So I definitely want to give this a bit of a makeover, at least as best as I can. It might not be perfect, but I think we can make it at least a little bit better. To start, I'm just gonna completely remove this guitar strap. It's just see-through and very not good. <laughs> So this guitar actually has some like cardboard front piece and I tried to peel it up a little bit, but I realized it's probably just best to keep it on. So I actually want to repaint this guitar and because most of it is plastic or at least the sides are, paint will definitely not stick to that. It'll just peel right off. So I'm just taking a nail file and I'm just going to sand down all of that smooth surface so that the paint will be able to stick and hold to the surface better. As for the front, I might sand it down a little bit, but it is that kind of cardstock material, so I think the paint would hold onto it fine. I'm also going to sand down this little piece here. I now have some rubbing alcohol, and I'm just going to put some of that on a cotton pad and wipe down the guitar to make sure all of the dust particles are gone before we move on. Then I take some gesso, and this is really good for a base or to kind of hold onto the plastic, so I don't really know how well just acrylic paint would work for a base, so I'm just going to be using gesso. I'm going to paint the entire guitar except for this brown stick piece. And I'm just going to do as many layers as I need until it's all opaque. And I think I actually am going to try to get into that little circle part without touching the dark brown stick thing. <laughs> and then once that's dry, I'm going to go in with some acrylic paint. I'm going to paint the front of the guitar a beige color or light brown, I guess, similar to how the colors on the sides were. Then I have this almost kind of reddish brown color and I'm going to paint that on the sides. Then I paint the inside circle with a color as similar as I could match to the dark brown stick thing. I paint this white piece black. And then I'm also going to paint all of these edges black as well. Now, very carefully, I take some silver paint and I'm going to paint the strings of the guitar and like the knobs and little details like that. This is really difficult, so I'm using a toothpick and I'm just gonna try to be really careful. Now, lastly, I'm just grabbing some matte Mod Podge and I'm just gonna brush a layer of that over the entire guitar. And once it's dry, the guitar looks like this. You can see a bit of texture from the Mod Podge, but I almost like it because it makes it look like it's actually wood. Sure, it may not be as cute or colorful as it was before, but I definitely think it looks more realistic and definitely just more like a guitar in general. And here's Nicole holding the guitar, and yeah, it definitely looks a lot better and more realistic, at least in my opinion. I have this Barbie doll couch. Now, nothing is really wrong with it. It's honestly pretty cute, but it is completely made of plastic. And I don't know about you, but I really haven't seen a plastic couch in real life. Luckily, some parts of this couch can actually be removed, which will make things a lot easier. These armrests can be removed. <laughs> I swear I did this like a couple minutes ago. There we go. And this back piece can also be removed. 
I've chosen out my fabric. It's just this gray kind of stretchy t-shirt material. So I'm gonna start working on this base piece or like the bottom cushion, I guess. To start, I'm just gonna kind of flop this fabric on top here. And I'm gonna cut a piece of fabric that is kind of big enough to cover this top section here, like this cushion piece. Then I'm gonna flip over the fabric so the wrong side is facing up. And on one of the longer sides, I'm going to fold over and hem that edge down. I'm personally just gonna use my hot glue gun to hold it in place. And now that we have this nice clean edge, I'm going to glue this piece of fabric on the couch so that the clean edge is in the front. And I'm just gluing it up to the end of this cushion part. So like right there. And then from here, I'm just going to fold over and glue down all the other edges. It doesn't really matter if it looks kind of messy on the back or the sides because you won't be able to see them later anyways. And I actually had this kind of last minute idea, which I think will make things a lot better, is I have this kind of like, it's basically a sheet of fluffiness that usually is used for like inside blankets and stuff. But I just cut out a rectangle that fits perfectly on top of the cushion here. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of glue to hold that in place. So now when I fold over and glue down the rest of the fabric, this piece will actually feel kind of comfortable and like an actual cushion. So now I'm just gonna continue gluing down these edges. So now that is all glued down and as you can see, it has a bit of an actual cushion and comforting feeling to it, which is really cool. And now to cover this bottom area, I cut a really long strip of that same fabric that can wrap all the way around the entire couch. And I'm going to fold over and hem one of the long edges. So now one edge has a nice clean hem. And now I'm gonna line up that clean hem at the top of this long bottom piece. So it's just touching the edge of the cushion. And I'm gonna glue that in place. And I cut off any extra fabric. I actually made my strip a little too long, but it's better too long than too short. And now that it looks like this, I'm just going to take this bottom edge and fold it over and glue it underneath all the way around. For now, we're done with the base, so let's move on to the back and the armrests. So for the back part of the sofa, I'm gonna be using that same fluffy stuff and I'm gonna glue it on to this back cushion. And then I cut out more of that same fabric just big enough to kind of cover that cushion and go around the edges. And I'm just gonna glue that in place. And I'm gonna put this back piece back in place like that. And oh my gosh, that actually looks really good so far. And now let's work on the armrests. I start off by cutting a little rectangle that I'm just going to use to cover this little shape on the front here. I then cut a strip of fabric that's long enough to go all the way around. And on one of the long edges, I'm going to fold it over and hem it down. And now I glue this piece so the clean edge goes around that shape on the front we just covered. Ooh, 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 
and then I just pop that in place. And now I'm just gonna repeat those exact same steps for the other arm. And then I pop that in place as well. I sewed two matching pillows and I just cut out this rectangle from some fluffy fabric and I'm just gonna drape that over to look like a blanket. And oh my goodness guys, you cannot tell me this doesn't look better than before. And I do know that some people like the vintage plastic look of doll furniture, but I just think this looks a million times better in this new realistic form. I mean, just look how cute that is. The only thing I'm worrying about now is where I'm gonna put this couch because I definitely don't wanna just stuff it in some drawer and forget about it, but I'll eventually figure out some way to use it. These are some cute neon pink sneakers and by adding some color and paint, I think we could really give them an upgrade. To actually paint the shoes, I'm gonna be mixing acrylic paint and matte Mod Podge together. And I'm just gonna paint some details on the shoes. And I'm also gonna use some white. And even just painting on those small details, they look a lot better, or at least in my opinion, they do. They just look more realistic and they're not all one solid color now. I'm really happy with how they turned out. So overall, we transformed three different things and I'm super happy with how everything went. And make sure to comment down below which of the three makeovers was your favorite. It's actually pretty hard for me, but I definitely like how the couch turned out. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future because I had a lot of fun and hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. Before we end today's video, the shoutouts for today go to DIY Dreamhouse, It's Queen Tala, and DD Star. Thank you so, so much for supporting my channel. And remember, if you had a chance of getting a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell and comment down below with the hashtag DD Squad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe because it really does help out my channel and I appreciate it so, so much. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!